aluminum is great at keeping solder where you don't want it to go. Well, that didn't go so well. Um, so I meant the connecting rod. It's actually kind of working now. Sadly, I didn't make a video when it wasn't working, but um, basically before I didn't have any piston rings or anything. It had awful compression. I put a piston ring on it, just like how, or basically an O-ring, just like however my steam engine, how my steam engine is like this, and uh, now I'm actually getting compression, and when it uh, fires, it bends the uh, connecting rod here, so I think I need a slightly stronger connecting rod. It's actually like, like before it fired once in a while, now it's like firing like a lot more and it has a lot more power. So it was definitely my compression before. Because before you could basically just turn it around by hand and you really couldn't feel much of, much resistance when it went down to the bottom there. Now, I mean, there's so much more resistance. That's that's a strong connecting rod too, and it bent that. That is crazy. That is insane. So I think I'm gonna have to build. I also saw this sliding over, so I'm gonna have to build a lot stronger rig here because this is obviously not uh, adequate at all. <laughs> what I've got here. Let me see if I can pull this off. Oh, that's my spark. Oof. Oh, it's kind of jammed in there. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So I mean, there's a lot more compression now. I mean, you can. Ugh. Yeah, ton more compression. So I think that was my problem. Definitely. <laughs> so I'm gonna need to make something a lot stronger. Um, yeah, back to the drawing board. All right, but that's exciting though. I had to spin it over with this big sewing machine motor before I was spinning it over with. I don't know why I didn't make a video when it wasn't working, but um, I was just spinning it over with this motor. That can't. That can't possibly overcome that. Um, that much compression, so I uh, I had to switch to a sewing machine motor in the Variac, and that was working a lot better. It was actually turning it over, but I was getting some. Uh, it was actually kind of working there a little bit, so uh, almost like really close. All right, so I got to bank a new one of these and uh, probably up my uh, the strength of my setup here a little bit because this is too weak. But uh, I'll be back in a minute here. It's like, it's like this close. It's so, so close. Okay, so I replaced the uh, crank rod with uh, a steel one here. And uh, yeah, so I, I got rid of the bearing there. And now I have just a brass tube instead of a bearing. But uh, it's so close. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It is like this close. Oh, 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 just, just a little more. Okay, so here's my carburetor over here. And it's just um, Coleman fuel in there, and the uh, here's the air intake here. The air goes in here, and it just kind of bubbles through there. You can see there. Oh, but it's so close! <laughs> and then I've got this uh, right here. Is a it's it's an ozone generator, or not? A, it's from an electronic air filter from a furnace, and I just have that hooked up. It I don't know. It seems to be working. I mean, it's oh oh, it's so close. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think just my fuel-air mixture is not quite right, maybe. That's all I can figure. Oh, but it is, it's trying so hard. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna, because I actually moved the stroke out a little bit, so I'm actually gonna move that in a little bit, so I'm gonna move the uh, flywheel over that way, like, quarter inch, maybe less than that. Alright, let's try that and let's see if it get, gets a little bit better, more compression and because I, I moved it away so it wouldn't get as much compression. I think I want to move it over just a little hair, see if that works. Just set up the camera and I'm looking in the camera, I'm like, I can't even tell what is the engine. It's so much stuff on my workbench here. Oh, that's exhausting turning that flywheel over. It's like this close. Hmm. Well, I think I need to build a little bit stronger rig here. 
Alright, so I fashioned a new flywheel, and just to give it a little bit of extra weight, and uh, because there's all those chunks in there, when I drilled through it, uh, it didn't come out too centered. So it has a bit of weeble wobble in it, and as you can see. But um, I just need a little bit of extra weight just to get this thing working, and uh, that'll work. I also got this the uh, worm screw or whatever, it's the grub screw in there. It had uh, the bit broke off in it, so I couldn't get it out. So I put a longer screw in there, and uh, so now it doesn't spin on there anymore, so that's good. So let's put that on there, nice and snug, and uh, let's give it another try and see if we can get it working. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit more flywheel, so it should uh, be able to keep going a little longer. That's pretty close. You guys see that? That was working. Oh, it worked for like 10 seconds. That's something right there. It's working! Oh, it's working! Oh, oh, something happened. It was working! It was working so good! Let's see if we can get it running again. Alright, that's so exciting. So exciting. Oh my goodness! It was working without even starting with the starter motor. Oh! It's working again! The mixture must not be quite right or something. It's working again! without a machine shop, well, except for that pulley, which I turned on the way that, um, hacked Pittsburgh. But that doesn't count. Oh. Oh! This is getting pretty toasty, I think. Add some more water. And now for the all awesome pull start. Let's see if it works. Here we go. Yes! 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 Here we go. I removed the Weeble Wobble flywheel and it works better. Oh, and it died. 
<laughs> I'm using a wire. Goes again. But see, I know that there's a range on here where it's good. Any other place it doesn't work. So once I got that tune and I figured out where it needed to be, that's when I got it working. So now I can just pretty much start it every time. I was going to try putting a muffler on, I'm glad I didn't because it doesn't work with that. It chokes it out. Guess the gas can't go through that fast enough, so I need something a lot bigger. Well guys, that's about it. That is my 100% made without a machine shop internal combustion engine. I can cross that off my bucket list. Yeah! Awesome! I didn't think I was actually going to be able to get it to run, but I guess it was just bad compression. So, so yeah, that's about it guys. Keep experimenting, and as always, thanks for watching.